So season five is upcoming for Modern Warfare 2 in just a little bit of time. And with that, we'll learn more about the upcoming reveal for Redacted, which of course we do know, though not explicitly stated, is Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 has had this whole host of leaks recently. And today I wanna to discuss with you the bit of information that we actually have about this reveal in particular, in which we know a little bit of what to expect to some degree. As well, I wanna discuss what that means here going forward. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below. What would you like to see here with this? Or do you think the upcoming reveal event for Modern Warfare 3 will turn out to be good? If you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, you'd like to stay to do with all things Modern Warfare 3, X Defiant, and anything FPS related, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have in the community. Finally, check out my friends over at G Fuel for 30% off your entire order with code ESPRESSO on things like Hype Sauce, MS Melon, and Hibiscus Tea Tubs, as well as starter packs, all linked down there below for the month of July. But that said, let's jump into it. First, just starting out with the leak itself here, according to Modern Warfare 2 Intel, an account who we've touched on here before, and has a pretty good track record for things like this. They tweeted on July 13th, the day following the Season 4 Reloaded update, some data mine information that they had found, stating the rumored Modern Warfare 3 reveal event will have you helping Shadow Company capture missile silos in Al Masra while defending those silos from enemies. You'll be invading a bunker located under observatory in search of a gas canister, which you will exfil with. And that's the only information that we had here, but gathered from season four reloaded. So still half a season away, perhaps closer to a whole season away. If it is a little bit after the launch of season five, as we'll touch on in just a second, you're only going to see breadcrumb trails. You're not going to see the whole thing spoiled here for us a half season beforehand in that update, but that still gives us a decent bit to look at. So what we can learn out of this is that, well, firstly, Infinity Ward apparently loves bunkers and silos. We had the bunker loot around Verdansk, Bunker 11, that Easter egg in Verdansk, the World War II bunkers in the Caldera reveal event, though, mostly Raven at that point, silos for eight months in the raid here in Modern Warfare 2, and bunkers again now for the Modern Warfare 3 reveal. But in all seriousness, there are bunkers around Al Masra currently and have been since the very beginning. Not as many as we had in Verdansk, but there've been a few that from the very beginning, I was like, well, that's interesting. I wonder if we'll see those open up anytime soon. And unlike Verdansk, we didn't see any of these open up where you could end up getting key cards or stuff like that to go into them and grab some high level loot. But it seems now we'll finally have a use for these around the world with some new areas underneath there. Another thing is the mention of Exfil with. That implies DMZ, which was recently the shift of focus for Modern Warfare 3's reveal as of the season four reloaded update elsewhere, where there were assets pointing towards a reveal in DMZ of some kind. And it kind of sounds like this is now going to be the case. Previously, we had all thought it would be another mode within Battle Royale or within Plunder perhaps, but it's right now something that is looking like DMZ. As weird as that may seem, given that DMZ's population probably is much lower than BR, if you look at the track record and how Infinity Ward has handled DMZ over the last, not only just close to a year since its launch, but with a the recollection they were working on DMZ even into the development of early Modern Warfare 2019, you'll realize why they want to utilize this stuff a little further. So X-Filling With may very well point to this actually confirming that DMZ will be the location here of the Modern Warfare 3 reveal event. And then finally, Shadow Cup company is mentioned here. The theory and rumor that Shadow Company would be coming back in an important way has been there for a while now, but one of the big things that as of recently has taken off is that we'll see Philip Graves return here as the Season 5 Premier Operator, that one coming along with the Battle Pass and everything like that. Now, Philip Graves obviously was an awesome character within the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. His arc to betrayal and then off-camera death was something that left a lot to be desired, perhaps. Personally, I thought that was one of the weaker points of the campaign itself because, I mean, you built up this guy as a big bad guy, but then he just died instantaneously almost. Like there was really nothing that really even gave gravity and weight to his death. I mean, you completely just move on immediately. There's nothing that really lingers and gives you that sense of accomplishment. You're just on to the next bad guy at that point. So to see him return will definitely be pretty cool, but also kind of reiterates that he will be coming with that mention. But that said, that's what we can take out of that mention of the leak itself. But then that brings up some concerns here that personally I have. That said, with it being DMZ and a quest to find the gas canisters, does that mean that if it were to happen right now in a regular DMZ match, would that be something where only one team succeeds? Because I think it's like 66 players or 22 squads of three in Al Masra currently. So if they're all going for the same thing, well, there's going to be 21 losers at that point. And granted, we have kind of seen something like this beforehand, where the part two of the Verdansk 84 reveal event ended up seeing us go to Rebirth Island and actually collecting the nuke detonation where everybody fought for that detonator at the end. While that has kind of happened before, it seems 
seems weird for an actual game reveal at that point. Unless everybody gets the same thing triggered at the same time, i.e. what is likely going to be a reveal trailer, no matter who completes it, and maybe there's just like bonus rewards like a blueprint or a camo to end up earning if you're the ones that actually complete an exfil with that canister. The only other thought that I would have here for this is that reveal events of the past have been pretty linear, right? I mean, you have your objectives given to your in your own specialized playlist at that point. There, if I remember correctly, also, they all had slightly less player counts than normal, but what if you would queue in in specific, so if that's still the case, you'd queue into that specialized playlist for DMZ, a limited time reveal playlist with gameplay modifiers, but what's also not to say that seeing smaller player counts across the board for infill locations like Ashika Island, Building 21, Vondel, Koshi Complex, who's to say that we don't take that with prior reveal things and we have a smaller number now in Almazra? Perhaps smaller than normal to the point where it's just you and your squad of three, where maybe it's even sectioned off around the area of observatory. You don't have the entirety of Almazra, but you have to search various locations around there to end up getting to that unlocked bunker and then extracting that canister. That would be something that would allow players to earn anything that comes along with it, but also be uncontested where they don't have any chance of having it ruined for them. We'll have to wait and see how that all breaks down. Of course, more information will be coming soon, but what happens after is, I would just imagine like Black Ops Cold War, like Vanguard, we'll just get a trailer or something after that, after you exfil. Now, the timing of the event, that's the big part here that is probably the biggest question mark. Because, yes, details about how the event will go can be estimated, can be in question, but realistically, the same thing is always going to happen. We're going to end up getting a revealed trailer. But the timing, that's still a big question mark we don't know anything of. I'm still, though, kind of in that mindset, thinking that we're going to see it happen shortly after Season 5 launches, not with. While we'll have more insight and indication as of the Season 5, Five announcement blogs, though again, not expecting specific details, it is something that will give us a little bit more insight regardless. That's already been confirmed by Call of Duty socials themselves. But we've talked about how it happening in conjunction with or in tandem with the season five launch is probably not likely because you're gonna end up seeing things taken away from those marketing pushes if you have to at least do them simultaneously. To promote season five, you wouldn't get as many eyes on a reveal event. To put it on the reveal event, you wouldn't get as many eyes specifically on the season five content. Activision doesn't like to do that. They don't like to take away from the concise marketing pushes. Instead, I'm still of that mindset that we'll see a brief pause, a chance for season five's pre-launch marketing and post-launch experiences to fully breathe. Then probably about a week after launch, we start to see a marketing ramp up for the redacted reveal and then the reveal itself likely two weeks or so after so my tentative guess based on that would be around the 16th of august but that's just an educated guess and very well could be wrong but that's what i'm thinking but that is the reveal event, what we know as of leaks and what can be inferred going forward as well. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think here of this? Do you like the sound of this being in DMZ? Do you like the idea that maybe, just maybe we see this be something that's specific to the player? What are the case? Drop your thoughts below. Before we wrap everything up, make sure you check out my friends over at G Fuel. Code Espresso gets you 30% off your entire order of things like Hype Sauce, Hibiscus Tea, and MS Melon Tubs in July, as well as starter kits. So if you guys want to grab something for the very first time or get a restock of your favorite flavor, now is as best a time as any to do so with code espresso getting you upwards of 30 percent off link down below if you guys want to check it out but absolutely no obligation entirely up to you beyond that drop your thoughts once again if you enjoyed the video you find it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing to stay the day with all things modern warfare 3 x defiant and other cod content and fps content here on the channel i'd love to have in the community but for now thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you later take care and peace